The use of tools by animals is a hotly debated topic for the simple reason that it can be challenging to distinguish between hardwired instinct and culturally transmitted learning. When elephants scratch their backs with tree branches, are they actually employing tools or are we misinterpreting their behavior? You can assess the level of intelligence of nine tool using animals by watching this video. Hello everyone. Welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Nine amazing animals that use tools. Nine, chimpanzees. The use of tools by chimpanzees could be the subject of a whole article but one gruesome illustration will do. Over 20 cases of chimpanzees using weapons while hunting were observed by Senegalese researchers in 2007, jabbing sharpened sticks into tree hollows to impale terrified bush infants. Strangely enough, only one bush infant was successfully retrieved using this hunting strategy, and adolescents of both sexes were less likely to use it than adolescents of either sex or adults. Eight, Rasses and Tuskfish. Fish of the Rass family are tiny, colorful, and exhibit distinctively adapted behaviors. Orange-dotted Tuskfish, Coeridon anchorago, a species of Rass, was recently seen removing a bivalve from the ocean floor, carrying it in its mouth a short distance away, and then smashing the unfortunate invertebrate against a rock. The black spot Tuskfish, Yellowhead Rass, and Six Bar Rass have since mimicked this behavior. Although they don't exactly qualify as examples of tool use, several species of cleaning wrasses are the underwater equivalent of car wash attendants since they congregate in groups to remove parasites from larger fish. 7. Polar, Brown, and Grizzly Bears Researchers from Washington State University tested the ability of captive grizzly bears to put two and two together and push over a nearby plastic box by dangling delicious donuts just out of the reach of the animals. It sounds like a scene from an episode of We Bear Bears. Not only did the majority of grizzlies pass the test, but brown bears have also been seen scratching their faces with pebbles covered in barnacles, and polar bears are known to throw rocks or chunks of ice when acting out in captivity, though they don't appear to use similar weapons when in the wild. It goes without saying that anyone whose picnic basket has been stolen is aware that bears are very cunning scavengers, so this tool using behavior may not come as much of a surprise. Six, American alligators. People in the southeast of the United States have long recognized that crocodiles and alligators are more intelligent than other reptiles like snakes and turtles. The American alligator has been seen accumulating sticks on its head during bird nesting season when there is severe rivalry for nest building materials. This is the first time that naturalists have recorded evidence of tool use by a reptile. 
Birds that are desperate and unprepared notice the sticks floating on the water, dive to get them, and end up becoming a good feast. The fittingly called Indian Mugger Crocodile has used the same tactic in the past, so take that into consideration before you interpret this behavior as another another sign of American exceptionalism. Elephants. Elephants have evolved with natural tools, such as their long, flexible trunks, but these beasts have also been seen employing simple technology. Asian elephants kept in captivity have been observed stomping on downed branches, tearing off smaller side branches with their trunks, and using these implements as crude back scratchers. Even more impressively, some elephants have been observed plugging tiny watering holes with plugs made of stripped tree bark, preventing the water from evaporating and preventing other animals from drinking it. Last but not least, some particularly aggressive elephants have broken through electric fences by pelting them with heavy rocks. Four, bottlenose dolphins. Instead of borrowing money from family members, sponging bottlenose dolphins dig deep into the seafloor in search of yummy grub while being well protected against painful wounds caused by sharp stones or irritated crustaceans. The majority of sponging dolphins are female, which is interesting because genetic analysis suggests that this behavior was not hardwired by genetics, but rather developed in a single, exceptionally clever bottlenose generations ago and passed down culturally through her progeny. Sponging has only been seen in Australian dolphins. Other dolphin populations have been known to employ a similar tactic, albeit using empty conch shells as opposed to sponges. Orangutans. Similar to how humans utilize cutlery, screwdrivers, and power drills, orangutans in the wild make use of branches, sticks, and leaves. Sticks are the primary all-purpose tool used by these primates to extract seeds from nesia fruit or pry tasty insects from trees. Leaves are used as primitive gloves when harvesting prickly plants, as umbrellas in torrential downpour, or when folded into tubes, as small megaphones that some orangutans use to amplify their calls. Even tales of orangutans using sticks to gauge water depth indicate that they possess cognitive abilities that are well beyond those of any other species. 2. Woodpecker Finches Birds are hardwired by instinct to build nests, so it is important to be cautious when assuming that they are capable of employing tools. However, the behavior of the woodpecker finch, which utilizes cactus spines to wrangle delectable insects out of their nooks or even to impale and then devour larger invertebrates, cannot entirely be explained by genetics. Most tellingly, the woodpecker finch will adapt this tool to suit its objectives even if the spine or twig isn't quite the proper shape. This process appears to require learning via trial and error. One, Dora Myrmex bicolor. When it comes to insects, whose social activity is hardwired by instinct, it is orders of magnitude more difficult to attribute tool using behavior to them than it is to birds. Even so, it seems unfair to omit Dora Myrmex bicolor from this list because it has been seen that these ants from the western United States dump tiny stones into the tunnels of Myrmecocystis, a rival ant genus. Nobody is sure where this evolutionary weapons race is going, but don't be shocked if millions of years from now, huge, armored, fire-spitting insects similar to the alien arthropods from Starship Troopers inhabit the Earth. That's for now. We appreciate you for being here. View more our channel videos.